Hello, and welcome to the very first ever episode of All Your Video Games Are Belong to Us. This special episode will be an all DS spectacular. The first game I'm going to be reviewing is Resident Evil Deadly Silence. Have you ever felt so scared you thought you'd shit yourself? Eh, me either. But this game made me come fairly close. This is the first survival horror game I've ever played, and at first, I thought the controls and camera angles were shit. But after a few minutes, I was roaming the endless hallways and blowing off zombie heads with ease. Plus, the action and puzzle segments blend perfectly. Now, with the original being 11 years old, you'd think this game would have horrible graphics, right? Wrong. The graphics in this game are incredible for a DS game, and the sound rivals some current-gen games. Now for the game's biggest problem. It's too short. It says I beat it in 4 hours and 26 minutes, but in actuality, it took me about 9. Now on to the final verdict. After a little while, I really grew to like the control and camera. I also love the perfect blend of puzzle and action, and the graphics are incredible. On the other hand, it ended way too quickly. Overall, I really enjoyed this game. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. The next game up is from one of my favorite series. It's Tony Hawk's American Skateland. If you've never heard of the Tony Hawk games, you've probably been living under a rock for the past 7 years. This is the premier extreme sports series, but how does the DS version stack up? Well, actually pretty well. If you've ever played a Tony Hawk game, you know what to expect. You've got your ollies, your air tricks, your grinds, your manuals, basic hawk stuff. But an obvious and annoying omission was the fact that you couldn't walk. Another problem was the story mode. There was no reward for completing it. None. Other than a stupid cutscene. But on the positive side, the classic mode's great, and the graphics and sound are incredible. This game has an awesome soundtrack. Now on to the final verdict. The controls are good, as always. The classic mode's great, and the graphics and soundtrack are awesome. Now, I didn't like the fact that they cut out walking, plus the story mode was kind of lame. Overall, 8 out of 10. This next game was a big surprise to me. It was a launch title. Here's Asphalt Urban GT. Have you ever wondered what a hybrid of Ridge Racer and Burnout would play like? Meet Asphalt Urban GT. The gameplay in this game is fast, furious, and fun, but there's a little too much drifting. The main game mode is lengthy and fun, and the graphics are incredible. The sound, however, doesn't fare quite as well. It sounds as if it were ripped from the bowels of the SNES. On to the final verdict. The gameplay and main mode are fun, plus the graphics are awesome. On the other hand, it's too heavy on drifting and the sound is horrible. Overall, 8 out of 10.